Many parents still don't feel comfortable sending their kids back to a classroom setting. So two ladies living here in Nashville have teamed together to help parents in a different way by teaching them about homeschooling. Call for action problem solver Carice Jackman tonight. She spoke one on one with the women behind this push. So Carice, you're live with more on how they feel it is certainly needed right now. Tracy, so needed what they're doing. Now, these two ladies we spoke with are moms. They worked in the education system, so they know the trials and tribulations that educators face right now, but they also know the concerns that many parents have, which is why they want to educate people about homeschooling and why they say they want to dispel the myth that it's just for the wealthy and for the privileged. Watch any of Deanna Fairbanks and Destiny Burns' YouTube videos, and it's clear from the moment you press play how much they love education. Destiny's a wife and mother of 11. Deanna Burns has two children. Both of them have backgrounds in education, and they're using their skills to motivate others. That is what we're here, is to give hope and to say, you can do it, we're doing it, and we're doing this together. They remember earlier this year having a conversation about homeschooling. I've been studying homeschooling for so long and the positive effects on homeschooling for African-American children, so I was prepared. Both women say they've always appreciated and respected public education. We were cool with that because I was able to work. You know, they were, you know, they were getting what they needed at where they were. And, you know, then here comes COVID. Hi, COVID. Out of the blue. <laughs> And, you know, <laughs> suddenly the, the whole, you know, uh, world of parents have all been collectively pushed into the swimming pool together to, you know, <laughs> take on, you know, educating our children, you know, at home. To get out of that swimming pool, they started looking into ways to uplift the community and share tips. That's how Hope in Homeschooling got started. Our public schools are doing the best with what they have, right? Um, but we also know that there are so many different types of learning styles that sometimes some, of, some students fall through the cracks. Um, statistics show that most times those students that fall through the cracks are students of color. Since launching Hope in Homeschooling, these Tennessee State grads have received emails and messages from Florida to Illinois. They want to dispel myths that homeschooling is for the wealthy and stay-at-home moms. For us, we are just being very intentional about teaching parents, yes, you can homeschool. No, you don't have to spend hundreds of thousands of dollars to do it. There are so many free curriculum. Yes, we can help you plan. Now, what do grandparents and parents think about all of this? We reached out to them, and we'll have that story for you tonight coming up on News 4 at 6. Tracy, Brittany, 